Hi everybody. Still miss being at the Raymond and in my classroom. So I'm here to read another book. It's called Spaghetti in a Hot Dog Bun, Having the Courage to Be Who You Are. It's written by Maria Desmondi and illustrated by Kimberly Shaw Peterson. The delicious smell of breakfast filled the air as Lucy's grandpa handed her a plate. Lucy smeared ketchup on her toast. She turned to her grandpa and said, Papa Gino, Harriet said she's never heard of ketchup on toast. Her family uses butter and jelly. It's okay. Not everyone likes the same thing, Lucy. It doesn't mean one person is right or wrong. We're all different. What a boring world it would be if we were all exactly alike. Do you remember what's really important? Papa Gino asked. Yes, Papa. Even if we are different from others on the outside, we all have a heart with feelings on the inside. That's my girl. Remember, when you treat others with love and kindness, you are doing the right thing, Papa Gino replied. On the school bus, Lucy and her friend Harriet pulled out some paper and crayons. Sitting across from them was Ralph. As usual, Ralph sat alone, staring out the window. He looked over at them and rolled his eyes. In the classroom, Lucy sat down near the teacher. Miss Marsha waited to begin as the children settled into their seats. Ralph carelessly hurried over and tripped on Lucy's foot. Before long, he was glaring at her. Ralph whispered, Oof, I can't see the book with this poodle in front of me. Lucy could hear him giggling behind her. Oh no, why did it have to be me, she wondered. Hmm, so Ralph hurried over to the rug and tripped and then he got mad at Lucy as if she did something wrong. During lunch, Harriet shouted one of her silly jokes over the other children's voices. As the girls ate, their bellies shook with laughter. Across the table, Ralph hollered, Yuck! That's the disgusting smell? Whoever heard of eating spaghetti in a hot dog bun? Don't you think that's gross, Tony? Hmm. Ralph doesn't seem to make very kind decisions. Tony and the other children at the table turned away from Ralph, shaking their heads. Ralph continued, poor little Lucy with her hair so poofy. Tears filled Lucy's eyes and she began to cry. On the way home, Lucy thought about what had happened. Maybe Ralph is mean to me because he thinks being different is bad. I wish he would stop teasing me. Pay attention to this picture because look at what Ralph's doing to Lucy while she sits in front of him on the bus. Slowly, Lucy stepped off the bus. How was your day? Papa Gino asked. Fine, she mumbled. Papa reached over and pulled a crayon out of her hair. How did this happen? He asked. Lucy didn't say a word. That night, as Papa Gino tucked Lucy into bed, he asked, is everything all right at school? Lucy rolled over. He leaned down, kissed her on the cheek and whispered, always remember, Papa is here for you. If something's not right, we can work on fixing it together. It's not that easy, thought Lucy. How do I stop Ralph from teasing me? How can he have a heart and be so mean? Lucy had a hard time falling asleep, worrying what would happen tomorrow. Do you think Lucy should have told her grandpa what was going on? The following day, Lucy was surprised to find Ralph leaving her alone until... Lucy, I'm sorry about yesterday, Ralph snickered. Lucy took the bag Ralph handed her. Inside were dog bones and a picture with a note that read, Lucy, Lucy, eat stinky food that puts us in a big bad mood. Lucy, Lucy, hair shaped like a cone. Here's a treat for you, a yummy dog bone. 
The beating of Lucy's heart was so loud, she knew everyone around her could hear it. Her body began to tremble as she tore the note into pieces. Stop! It hurts my feelings when you do this, Ralph, Lucy said. Please, stop! Ralph turned and walked away. It was recess time and Lucy played alone. She didn't want to tell Miss Marsha about Ralph. She was afraid of being a tattletale. Lucy wished Papa Gino was there to help. What should I do? She asked herself over and over. The bell rang as recess ended. Help! cried a child off in the distance. Tony ran up and yelled, Ralph got himself stuck at the top of the monkey bars. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Hmm, Lucy has a hard decision to make because she doesn't really want to tell on Ralph, but Ralph's not making very kind decisions and I think she might want to tell her teacher. This is my chance. I'll go tell Ralph how mean he really is. M-E-A-N mean, Lucy said under her breath. She stomped off toward the monkey bars. When she reached Ralph, Lucy paused. She looked him in the eye and said, what you did was so mean. Standing before Ralph, Lucy could hear her papa's words. Ralph did have a heart with feelings. I'm proud that Lucy is using her words to tell Ralph how she feels. In that moment, she decided what she would do. Lucy started to climb up the monkey bars. She saw tears in Ralph's eyes. He hesitated to move and whispered, I'm scared. Lucy reached for him and said, here, take my hand, and she helped him down. The two walked back to the classroom without saying a word. On the way home, Lucy sang songs with Harriet. As the bus pulled up to her stop, Ralph suddenly reached over and handed her a picture. Lucy was amazed by what she saw. Thanks, she muttered softly. After she got off the bus, Lucy reached for her papa's hand and said, Papa, there's this boy, Ralph, who was really mean to me. Today he was in trouble and I helped him. Ralph made Lucy a nice note over there. Papa Gino hugged Lucy and replied, that took a lot of courage. It wasn't the easiest thing to do. You chose to be a good person and to treat others the way you want to be treated. I'm so proud of you, Lucy. As they walked home, she asked him what was for dinner. When Papa Gino said spaghetti, Lucy knew immediately what she would have for lunch the next day. Her favorite sandwich, spaghetti in a hot dog bun. And this last page says, you are out of this world special. Be proud, love yourself, have courage, practice giving, make each day count, celebrate differences, spread kindness, share a smile, forgive and never give up. Love, Maria. Maria's the author of the book. I really like this story because it takes a lot of courage to be kind, even when people are not being kind to you. And it takes a really brave person to help, even when someone hasn't helped you. But if we all make the kind and brave choices, then our world will be a kinder place. Till next time. Bye.